In this movie, we'll look at how to transform gradients using the Gradient Transform tool. The Gradient Transform tool is in the flyout menu with the Free Transform tool. Note that its keyboard shortcut is F. Once you have the Gradient Transform tool selected, you can click on any gradient on the stage to modify it. Once you select a gradient, you can see some handles to modify the gradient. The circle in the middle allows you to move the gradient. When you hover over it, your mouse cursor will change to four directional arrows. If you click and drag, you can move the origin of the gradient. Then in the center of the side edge of the gradient, you'll see the area where you can click and drag to scale the gradient. So I can scale it in, I can scale it out. The top right corner allows you to click and drag to rotate the gradient. I'll undo that change. Note that if you want to rotate the gradient, when the Gradient Transform tool is selected, you can select the Snap to Objects option at the bottom of the toolbar. With Snap to Objects, the rotation of the gradient will snap to 90 degree angles. You can also hold the Shift key to constrain it to 45 degree angles. If you scale a gradient down, you can see how Flow works in the color panel. So now I have Flow at Extend Color. So you can see the gradation happens in between the two blue lines on my screen. Flow determines what happens outside of those lines. So when it says extend color, the lightest color on my screen continues after the blue line. And the color on the left continues before the blue line to the left. So let's change that to reflect color. See the gradient pattern reflected. Then I can change it to repeat color and the gradient pattern is repeated. I'll change it back to extend color. And I'll scale out the gradient to its default size. So using the Gradient Transform tool, you have control over your gradients to move them, scale them, and rotate them.